Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and your Reverend Clifford Hall is in the Nation News talking about repealing the buggery law of colonial times. And if we are to look at those particular laws, I think those are biblical laws, aren't they? Isn't it an abomination in the sight of the God that created you guys? Isn't it an abomination for you to lay with, for a man to lay with a man? For you to have anal sex, oral sex, or sex with an animal? Isn't that part of your religion? Isn't it? I think it is. I think it's found in the Bible and it's called sodomy. Sodomy and buggery, same things. They're, they're, they're synonymous. They're, they're synonymous. They're, they're, they're rolled together. And part of the buggery laws um, talks about or against oral. You, you, you know what oral sex is, right? Anal and sex with animals. Now, do you know anyone in Barbados going to prison for having anal sex? Do you know any woman or any male that has gone to prison, Dodd's prison, for having anal sex or oral sex performed on them? Do you? Because it's a life sentence. It's 10 years if you have sex with an animal. Do you know anyone in Barbados going to prison for these particular quote-unquote crimes? How can it be? It cannot be. 80%, 80% of Barbados indulge in these particular things. The police that come to get you will be one. The judge that is presiding over the case will be one. Every, everything in Barbados is, is this. It deals with sodomy. Now, outside of rape or sexual abuse of any type, Anytime you're dealing with young people, that's the only pushback. But other than that, you guys don't have no problem with buggery or bullying or, you know, there's no pushback in the transgender, the bisexual, the like. There's nothing going on there in terms of prison terms with you guys. So why is Clifford Hall, why is he? A man of the of the cloth. Why is he in the newspaper talking about a change? And then this what what's the name of this one? Lu Lalu Lalu Inhuman. Find out who his name is. Find out what that name is. Ha human in, in, Inhuman Lalu Inhuman. He he chimed in. It's probably he chimed in and said. Oh, well, you know, back in the day, it was a great financial disadvantage to the slave owner when the enslaved person, gay person, did not want to have sex in the barns. And why would he say that? Why would you say that? Why can't you say that during slavery, there were some males who decided or could not have an erection because they knew that they were going to be having sex with their sisters, their own child, their mothers, their aunties, people that they knew and respected on the, on the plantation, and they just could not have that erection. It had nothing to do with the slave being gay. A slave didn't have any gayness or anything. It's, they were slaves. You were owned. They were property, and they did as they were told. So if, if some of the male slaves could not rise to the occasion. Don't put that gayness on them. Give them some, prop them up and say, you know what? Even during slavery, some of the males could not take part of the orgies because you know that's where you came from, right? You got to know that's where the Barbadians came from. You were all huddled together in a barn and it was a fuck fest. You know that, right? So if there are some men and some women could not do it either, the babies never stuck. They will have miscarriages after miscarriage because it was a dirty, dirty game that was played. And all this guy should be in the newspaper talking about is reparations. That's what he should be talking about. There's no witch hunt for gay people in Barbados. There's no one going to 
dodge prison for having oral sex. Everyone, everyone would be in, in dodge prison if someone were to police that. Who's going to police pleasure between adults, consulting adults? Who's going to police that? You can't police that. You can't police where things go when you're in the heat of, you know, lovemaking. You're going to police that. It cannot be policed. No one is going to prison for having, for performing sodomy or buggery in Barbados. No one. And talking about animals, well, they say that most Barbadian males, there's some along the line, even with a chicken, even chickens in the yard were not safe when you come in, when they came into puberty. It, it, it was a weird time and you have to have restraint and, you know, it's overpowering for a lot of young boys, maybe even young girls. I don't know, but y- you know these things because it comes your way. You te- people tell you these things and older folk tell you this. I know a guy that said he does not know one guy that did not do something with a chicken. Chickens weren't safe. Anything that had a hole, even the earth, they would dig a hole in there. Anything that could have a hole, there were y- y- you were going to probably get screwed. So um, he's a reverend, Clifford Hall. He should be ashamed of himself because these laws are biblical. And the God, the God that created you, he created monsters. Well, he called them creatures, monsters, creatures, say, same thing. He created monsters that he subsequently tried to destroy. And you're like, Johnny Apostles can't kill you. Cannot kill the earth people. Just can't. Johnny Apostles, man. You dig down deep and some of you come back up after everything has settled. You come back up and what do you do? You eat, you have sex, and you multiply again. So he should be not thinking about buggery, which is part of... It's part of the life. It's part of your, your, your everything. Your consciousness. It's part of. It's part. It's part of your consciousness. Most people living on the island are, in many ways, in in out of alignment with these particular laws of the Bible, and you're not. You cannot be policed. You cannot be censored. You cannot be discriminated against because it's who you are. It's part of who you are. So sexual immorality, in a way, cannot be policed. It cannot be policed. And now that religion is leaving the island, you know, why, why bother? Why not speak out against the laws that put people in jail for trying to sell some weed, some dry bush, dry leaves, why don't you come into the forefront and speak out on that? Because a lot of young entrepreneurs are in Dodd's prison for selling marijuana. Why don't you come out and speak for them? That's what they're going to jail for, marijuana. Not bullying, not oral sex, not having sex with animals. And if you want to give education, maybe you should let the people know that with anal sex comes a whole lot of diseases that can be passed along. You can pass a whole host of diseases around by playing up in that particular playground. And then some people who are bisexual, you know, the AC, DC kind of people, they're taking it back home to their wives. They're taking things back home to their girlfriends, you know, unless they're even strapping up. The only way you can be safe you, is to abstain, is to be celibate. That's the only safety in these days because you, you, you don't know, you cannot trust anyone. Trust, trust no one. Trust no one. And Clifford Hall, you should be shame of yourself. You take this big S and put it on your chest and walk around in bar because you should be, you are, you are scandalous. You should be ashamed of yourself because there's no reason to repeal a law that's not being prosecuted. That's not being, it's not being, no one is charging anyone for anal, oral, or sex with animals in Barbados. No one is being charged. Why don't you fight something or find something else 
to focus on and leave the buggery laws al alone because they're not being prosecuted. Okay? They're, they're okay being on the books and it's not from colonial times. Read your Bible. Reverend, read your Bible. It's from biblical times when the same God that tries so hard to destroy this earth, he tried to destroy. It cannot be destroyed. If people are gay, they're gay. It's okay. If men are gay, leave them to be gay. The only issue would be non-consensual rape, sexual abuse, and, and messing with young people. That's all you have to worry about. And if you have to give something, give education, let them know about the diseases that come along with that kind of behavior and leave it with them. Leave it with them. Let the people who sell marijuana or who were caught with marijuana, let them out of jail. Take them out of the prisons. Leave them alone. Let them find their way in business. All the people that you do business with, all the billionaires and millionaires, all of them dealing drugs. All of them dealing drugs. Okay? So just, just level the playing field and forget about um, the other buggery, bullying, sodomy laws because it's part of your makeup. It's part of your consciousness. It's part of who you are there in Barbados. Everyone in Barbados that are sexually active, they're engaged in sodomy. This is Sherry Veronica.